Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you three keyboard shortcuts for Lightroom Classic that I use all the time. Now, none of these keyboard shortcuts are very obscure, but if you're newer to Lightroom Classic, you may not be aware of these, and I do believe that if you learn these, they will really help you in your workflow. At the end of the video, I'll talk a little bit about this building because it has an interesting story. Now, we're gonna jump right into it. The first keyboard shortcut has to do with jumping between the different modules. I'm often jumping between the library and the develop module back and forth. And a super easy way to do that is if you're in the develop module and you want to go to the grid view of the library module, simply hit the G key on your keyboard, G for grid. If you want to jump back to the develop module, hit the D key, D for develop. Now, sometimes I want to go back to the library module, but I don't want to be in grid view. I just want my single image to keep showing. In those instances, I'll hit the E key on my keyboard, E for Edward, and that's called loop view. So I'm in the library module with a single image. I could still go to grid view by hitting the G key if I want to, or I could jump back to the develop module by hitting the D key for develop. So that's the first kind of set of keyboard shortcuts I use, D, E, and G, to jump between the develop and library module. Now, often I like to look at my images without all the busyness of the Lightroom's workspace surrounding it. And to do that, I simply hit the F key on my keyboard to go into full screen mode. So F for full. That's another super simple Lightroom classic keyboard shortcut that I use all the time. When I wanna go back to the Lightroom workspace, I just hit the F key again. So very simple and I use that one all the time. Now, our final one is I export almost every image I process. And to export, you could go up to File, down to Export, and stuff. But I don't like going up in these menus. So I'm often using keyboard shortcuts instead of going up to the menu system. And the keyboard shortcut for exporting an image is a keyboard sequence. That is, you hold in the Shift key along with the Command key on a Mac or Control key on Windows computer, along with E. So shift command E on Mac, shift control E on Windows. And when you do that, your export dialog box will come up and you could export as you want. So very, very uh, simple keyboard shortcuts. And I'll just add a bonus one. Shift command E or shift control E brings the export dialog. If you wanna bring the import dialog box up, shift command I, or shift control i and you'll bring up the import dialog box so those keyboard shortcuts i mentioned are super common nothing obscure there but i think if you're newer to lightroom and you don't know about them you would really benefit your workflow by incorporating those keyboard shortcuts so that's it for the video but i just wanted to talk about this building for a moment uh, this is now a hotel but in the past it was a psychiatric center here in Buffalo, New York. And it, um, it was called the Forest Avenue Psych Center. And it had quite a checkered history as far as, you know, the uh, psychiatric patients that stayed there and the conditions they had to stay in, especially later in its um, lifetime. And they built a new psych center, a more modern facility, actually just adjacent to this building. And this building laid empty and kind of in ruins for a long time. And a lot of people snuck in to get, you know, photographs of, you know, the, uh, the hospital part of it, the, the operating rooms and the, the treatment rooms and things like that. Well, a developer purchased it and made a hotel out of it, and it's actually quite beautiful inside. From what I understand, actually, I've never stayed there. But it has a bit of a story, and if you were ever in Buffalo, you may want to look up the Hotel Henry and stay here for a night. And hopefully it's not haunted. I don't think it is because I don't believe in ghosts. But 
but maybe you do and you'll enjoy a night at the Hotel Henry. So thank you everyone. And this video was not brought to you by the Hotel Henry, by the way. So thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.